Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a classic black smoky eye. Now with my really bad dark circles and really heavily pigmented eyes, I always thought that a black smoky eye would just make me look like I'd been punched in the face or look like a panda. Um, but actually when I went on my course at the Academy of Freelance Makeup, one of the artists that was training us, um, she was the one who said, actually, do you know what, you could actually pull it off as long as you conceal your under eyes really well, highlight it really well, there's no reason why you cannot. So, that's what I'm going to do for you today. So those of you with really, really deep dark circles, heavy pigmented eyelids, um, feeling like you can't do a black smoky eye, please watch this. Um, I do have most of my base makeup on. I had filmed a video just previous to this about my go-to rider eye makeup products. Um, but I have removed my concealer, which was which I'd applied really lightly, so it wasn't full coverage, um, and my eye makeup. So I really do have to reapply my under eye stuff and, of course, my eyeshadow. Um, I may change my lipstick, but we'll see. So I'm just going to start by doing the um, black smoky eye first before I go in with my concealer. So at the start, it isn't going to look very nice because of my dark circles. But just bear with me. What I am actually going to do is up until my crease, I am going to go in. So from my brow bone to my crease, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude, which is just a skin tone shade. And um, I just need to neutralize the upper part of my crease just so I can apply some warm um, browns just to make it all look good. And the brush that I'm going to use is a synthetic brush by Morphe. So just from under the brows. To the crease. And the inner corner, which really I should have put a bit of corrector on, but that's okay. And just with my finger, I'm just going to blend out that edge. Make sure there's an even amount of product across. Okay, then for a black smoky eye, I really feel like you need a black base for the black eyeshadow to really pop. Um, especially on camera. And I prefer to use something that blends out really easily. So I'm... You could either use a pencil, but I'm actually going to use the e.l.f. Cream Liner. It's a super creamy and it just blends out really easily. I'm going to use it on a blending brush. I'm not going to go all the way up to my crease with this. I'm staying just a little bit below my crease and then I'm going to blend this upwards. And I am going to go all the way to the inner corner. So you've got a little bit of playtime with this, not too much. But you do want to try and get that edge blended. We are going to go in with eyeshadow to help, but for now, we really want to get a clean blend on that edge. Okay, so I've kept it just below the crease and then I'm blending that out. It is easier to work with pencil than it is to work with gel or cream liners. Just bear that in mind. So that's fairly even, not 100%, but that's okay. Um, try and get it as even as you can, but with powder you should be able to blend it out even more. Okay, so I'm going to work on the crease now, and I'm going to use a few blending brushes. The crease, I think, is probably the most important part in getting this look to look good. Um, I do want to make sure that the crease is really warm just so that my eyes, so, so just so that the dark circles don't look really bad and I don't look like I've been punched in the face. So I'm starting, I'm using this palette here and I'm just going in with a few warm shades. I am going to start out with this yellowy shade which is called Chickadee. I'm taking a light amount of that. 
that's just our first transition shade. And I'm not winging this out this time around, I want the smoky eye just to be on the lid, so I'm going to have it more circular. And you want it all the way in. So go right deep into the crease. Doesn't matter if it goes on the eyelid as well, a little bit, that's fine. And take it quite high up as well. So for, for my brow bone, I've gone in with Peach Smoothie. Um, I am going to go over this with a shimmer, but I do need something here. So for now, I'm going to apply Peach Smoothie. So just make sure this whole thing, the whole crease area and going up towards the brow, brow bone is warm. When you use warm browns, you want to build that up. And just keep making sure that both eyes are even, look straight ahead when you do that. I'm going in with a slightly more tapered blending brush and I'm going to use I'm going to use Frappe, again by Makeup Geek. And we're slightly deeper in the crease now, not so high up towards the brow. And again, we're going around the black that we laid out earlier. Inner to outer. Okay, and then going in with Coco Bear, so we're just building up the depth in the crease. This is a little bit deeper. I'm going to initially use the same brush and then I'm going to go in with a more tapered brush. And tighter in the crease again. Taking Coco here, this is by Artist of Makeup on a smaller brush, and this is really, really pigmented. This is a more tapered brush. And this is going right into the crease. So hugging the black that we put on earlier. We want the black to fade upwards into these browns. Okay, and then on the same brush, I'm taking black, and this is Black Smoke by Artist of Makeup, that one there. And I'm just going right on the edge of that black. We want to blend that black into the brown. Don't worry about fallout at this stage. Hopefully you shouldn't have any if you're tapping off your brush. But if you do, don't worry about it. We will clean that up before we apply concealer and so forth. And then I'm going to go over that with the last brown that we applied. So that's Coco by Artist of Makeup. And one more time into the crease. Okay, and then for the black, I'm just taking a stiffer brush, a flat brush. This is one by Eco Tools. I'm going in with that same black, really making sure to tap off any extra. And then pressing that onto the gel liner that we put on earlier, the cream liner we put on earlier. Okay, and then on the inner corner, I actually go in with the angle side of this brush just to get it quite precise.
Okay, then going back in with the last blending brush we used, taking a little bit more of cocoa. And just keeping that edge blended as seamless as possible. Okay, so I want to clean up the bottom part. I've got a makeup wipe here. Let's clean that up. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm just going to apply a little bit of eye cream. I'm using the Himalaya eye cream. My eyes are feeling a little bit sore, the under part of my eyes. Very little. And if you have really dark circles, please make sure you color correct here because it is really important. I'm actually using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade SX12. I'm going to use that as my corrector. Because this stuff is full coverage. Like, this stuff is not messing around. And I'm taking it on the inner corners as well. Taking my sponge and just making sure there's not too much product here. So we don't want it to crease. Okay, and then for my concealer, I'm using Kevin Aquan again, but in SX11. And I'm just going to use the same brush, I'm just, just taking off any extra product off the darker shade. And I'm just stamping this on. I am going to go in with my sponge to blend this out. But I want to make sure I've got this really well highlighted under the eye. Like that. So I've just set a little bit on the forehead and my nose as well where I applied the concealer. And now we're going to go back in with that last blending brush that we used just to tidy up that edge that we've applied that concealer on. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. We want this pretty smoky, so use a brush that is going to allow you to do that. So I'm taking all the colours that we used in the crease. In turn, so chickadee first, then next was latte, the lower down you take it, the more likely you are to cover your dark circles with eyeshadow. So just bear that in mind. Don't be too scared to go quite smoky on the lower lash line. And I'm going in with the darkest brown now. And this time I'm just going a little bit closer to the lash line. And then before we go in with the black, which we are going to use, I'm going to line my waterline with the same gel liner, just on a brush. 
with the same sorry cream liner by e.l.f. I'm just going to use a brush to do that. Um, you can use this or a pencil or whatever you're comfortable with. I'm okay to use this. It's so creamy that it just glides on. You don't really need to target your waterline. And you want to try and tight line with this as well. And then using the um, angled brush or the flat shader brush that we applied the black in, black with, I'm using the angle side of it. I'm just going to set that cream liner with some eyeshadow. And then we're going to blend that out. And then taking, I'm taking the flat shader brush that I use for my for applying the actual black, but I'm using the tip of it. And I'm just going to try and smoke out or blend out that black a little bit, just to blur out that edge a little bit. Keep tapping any extra off your brush. Especially now, because we've done the concealer. You don't want any fallout onto your cheek. Um, but what I do like to do is just go in one more time with that blending brush, take the middle brown shade, so in this case that was um, Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, and just blend that out one more time. That's pretty much it really. I'm going to do the inner corner highlight. Um, because everything is really matte at the moment, I'm going to use a shimmer highlight. And I'm going to use Oh Darling by MAC. I'm going to use this as my cheek highlighter as well. Let me start with the cheek. I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I really like how this brush is picking up the product. So you do need a little bit of a stiffer brush to pick up product of these extra dimension skin finishes. Let's just highlight that inner corner. For lips, I might actually add this Rocker Chick um, liquid lipstick by Makeup Geek. I really want to try this. Um, I know it's quite full on with the smoky eye, but let's try it. I don't really like the formula for plush mattes. Um, some are definitely worse than others. So I just want to try this. And I'm, I'm applying it over um, NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is patchy. This applied really patchy, like I don't, I don't like the formula of these at all. But I love the colour. Colour is beautiful. Okay, and then ideally you'd want to wear false lashes with this because it would just look so amazing. But you know me, I really can't wear false lashes, they just irritate my eyes to death. So I'm just going to go in with another coat of mascara and hope for the best. And when I say another coat, I actually had some already at the start of this tutorial. I never put any on my bottom um, lash line because I don't really have any decent lashes on my lower lash line and I don't like to bring any attention to it. So this is basically all that I do. But um, yeah, so this is how you create a black smoky eye. Well, this is how I create a black smoky eye on um, skin with really bad dark circles. They might not look so bad on camera because the light does wash out a little bit, but they are really bad in person. Um, and right now, if I look at myself, in the mirror, in person, um, 
yeah, I can't see any dark circles. So a really good concealer corrector does make all the difference when it comes to a black smoky eye. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't use anything that's light coverage when you're doing this sort of a look, because otherwise it can make your dark circles look worse.